Okay, so we'll go two up, and then all the way to the left. all the way. Encounter. The improvements to the bar make the miners more motivated. Now they'll mine more metal. Sterling work with that counter, Tran. After a few glasses of digger's jigger and a quick dip, let us be set for another day of our digging. Speaking of digging, the old town's buzzing about these deep, dark tunnels you've opened up. It actually reminds me of an old crumbled Dun legend, a sorrowful story of unrequited love. I'll tell you if you like. Wanna hear it? No. You what? But I've been practicing all day. Go on, give us a listen, will ya? Yes. Alright then, here goes. Once upon a time, a maiden with beautiful locks of long flowing air showed up in Crumble Dawn. Is this Mad Madusa? Before long, she fell into head over eels in love with the most handsomest geezer on the old island. But this bloke was a bit of a man about town, if you know what I mean. The maiden's affections turned to jealousy and then hatred. Then one night in the April rage, she tied her hair into a silky sock ponytail, strangled the poor blighter in his sleep, and ran away to the mine, never to be seen again. Don't worry, it ain't a true story, just something the miners made up. You'd never guess it to look at us, but us crumbled Dunners have a romantic side too. Oh, yeah. Now then, I've got another favor to ask. What with the new pub on the way more tunnels to explore, we could do with a few more miners. Fancy giving that bell a ring? We can only get a few new faces in town. None of them will be Barbie even more buzzing, but the miners dig up even more metal too. If I ain't mistaken, you also learn a few more tricks of the building trade. It's one of them win-win situation things, isn't it? You want to take care of a few more odds and ends first, I won't hold it against you. Just ring that bell when you're done. I gotta hand it to you, Tran. This bell really worked its magic this time. Six new faces. With this many miners, we'll be digging up more metal than ever. Maybe we can even delve deeper into the caves. Listen, Tran. I realized that all that talk about the, the miners bringing misery on their own heads was a load of old cobblers. The Trojan of Argon said that the glint of metal sowed the seeds of greed in our hearts and made, this, it made us scrap over every scrap. It said the light blinded us to the truth. That ain't true at all. The spark of silver and the glimmer of gold is what gives us hope. We don't burn the bridges between us, it builds them. We need more metal than ever before. We've got to get bring the golden age back to Crumble Dun. Yeah. Hello, Tran. How's the building work coming along? Nice and smoothly, I hope. Which is more than I could say for me signature pub grub. I just can't figure out what I'm doing wrong. I'm going to try as many different ingredients as possible so I can come up with the perfect crumble done dish, but them bonfires ain't up to the job. If I had a frying pan, I could cook stuff together and maybe make a breakthrough. Could you make me one, Tran? Once you've made it, just whack it on top of one of me bonfires in the mushroom cooker. Then I can start working on me recipes. That seems easy enough. I got loads of iron. Try putting a frying pan on a bonfire. If I'm ever going to come up with some proper grub fare, I need a frying pan so I cook ingredients together. When you've made one, plonk it on one of the bonfires in my mushroom cooker, and I can start using it. I can't wait to try out a few new recipes. 
<laughs> Always good to see your smiling face, Tran. That grin of yours never seems to fade. Perhaps you're the perfect person to help me out with something. I want everyone around here to smile a bit more, no matter how hard life in a mining town can be. We had a card table near the pool. It might be a nice little morale booster. Either those fellows love their games, especially when they're playing for stakes. It's already sketched on your blueprint, right? Just put a couple of stone stools around a stone table, stick a pack of playing cards on top, and bomb your uncle. Things can get pretty heated when the lads play cards, so you better reinforce the floor with some heavy duty iron blocks so it can withstand a store loser's stomps. And once you make a card table for the silver bar, I put a smile on the face of the grumpiest miner. Put two stone stools either either side of a stone table with a deck of playing cards on top. Have a look at the blueprint to see where it needs to go. You need to reinforce the floor underneath with some iron blocks. After all, we don't want the lads getting overexcited and bending the bar out of shape. You set up a couple of card tables. Alright, we'll do the chicks first because it seems easier. Oh, look at that. You put the frying pan on top of me bonfire just like I asked, and I can cook two ingredients together. Now then, Tran, there's a recipe I've been just dying to give a world. Mind helping me find the ingredients? We need some mushrooms and some succulent slabs of meat. Them bunnycorns you see up and about the desert look like they've got some tasty cuts on them. Actually, the recipe's so simple, you could even whip it up for me. Just put a mushroom and some meat in the frying pan and give it a sizzle. That's all there is to it. Put a frying pan on top of a bonfire and you'll be able to cook two ingredients together. Speaking of mushroom, I think I got some from. Well, it's no longer easy, but I should be able to get a meat meat bunny pretty fast. They spawn. Shrooms on a stick. Right, so, toss on that. Then one of those. And we'll cook it. Turf and truck. I thought something smelled good. That's exactly the kind of pub grub I had in mind. Can I have a closer look at it? Nope. Oh, right. Keeping this one for yourself, are you? Well, give me a shot when you made a play for me, yeah? Turf and truck, you call it. It looks bleed scrumptious. Lads are gonna love it. I just hope it's the spot after an hard day's digging or dealing out the drinks in me dad's case. All that hard work must really take it out of him. Eh? You reckon it's nice of me to put everyone's elf first? Don't get me wrong, Tran. This ain't just food. It's fuel. The more good grub they get down them, the more metal they'll be able to mine. 
Anyway, thanks for helping me with me, Dish. If I start practicing the recipe right away, I'll be able to make it all by, by myself in no time. Food ain't just for filling an empty stomach, you know. It can have other benefits besides, so expand your palate. You might be surprised by what you find out. Getting those new miners on board, Trent. Now we can take a big step forward in the search for more silver. You see, a single seam of silver won't be enough. Do you think you can find three more seams? I'm sure there must be more down there. All right, lads, you heard my grog. Time to get to work. Tran will be waiting for you in the tunnels. Come and find us when you're ready. Tran. I heard you was going off in search of more silver, so I put together a little packed lunch for you. Here. I ain't quite perfected the recipe yet. This was the only edible looking one I managed to make. Still, it'll help keep your strength up. Hey, thanks for paying me back. That's not fair, since when have you been her favorite? Get out of my sight, Tran. Find Dougie and lead the lads to a few more veins of silver. Dougie said he'd be waiting for you down by the old depth. I'd recommend warping there if you can. Stone stool, stone table, playing cards. Stone stool, stone tables, playing cards. And it goes where? There it is. Okay, let's start with iron. Uh, two and three on the bottom side. So, one, two, and one, two, three. That's what I was talking about. I'm sure it didn't make any sense to anybody listening. Stone stool, stone table. Three, two. Playing cards. The purpose to the bar make the miners more motivated. They'll mine more metal. Thanks, Tran. When the miners see it, I'm sure they'll be grinning from ear to ear. Not that you can ever see their faces to find out. There is one way of telling whether they're enjoying themselves, though. The more the town folks like what they're, you're done, you've done with the building, the more gratitude they'll give you. Everyone needs to smile after a stressful day. Just look at Babs and how hard she works. I don't know how she does it. Not only has she got her dad and his, her, his pup to worry about, she's put on that rabbit suit to keep the miners contented. And to top, off, to top it off, she fights the monsters as well. But don't get your wires crossed. It's not like I like her like her. I just really, really like her. Yeah, this is my angel. My light in the darkness. But if you're thinking of having her all to yourself, you can get right out of it. Tran, if I ask you a serious question, will you give me an honest answer? Does Babs look unhappy to you? Like she's put about, out about or something? You what? You reckon this place must be paradise for an intelligent girl like her being chased around by a load of art fighting art farting meatheads? Wait, you ain't being sarcastic, are you? I never can tell when you're winding me up. Anyway, she looks upset to me. Must be all the sand around here. Stuff gets everywhere. That's where you come in. I need you to put together a shower room so Babs can tell all that scratchy sand to absolutely do one. If Babs is gonna shower in style, the wall's gotta be made of silver brick blocks. As for the location, somewhere by the silver bar might be a good spot. Then you just gotta fill it with a shower, a folding screen, and a towel rail. Plop them all inside and you're done. Yaha! I reckon Babs' shower room would look nice next to the silver bar. What with the walls being made out of silver bricks blocks and all. Once you put in a shower, a folding screen, and a towel rail in there, Babs won't have to worry about the sand sticking there in the pits no more.
see which one's better. 45 fullness versus 30 fullness. So the mushroom... And the mushroom makes what? The fruit flambe? No, the, what's the mushroom make? Shrooms on a stick, 20%. And then the steak adds 30%. If I do that, that's 50%. So this is 5% less, realistically. As far as health goes, it's the same. So it's less. It's probably it's probably faster though to do it that way. Alright, so three from the bottom and then that's it. Whoops, wrong one. Let's see how much all this morale helps with. It's almost double that. Let's keep doing the flooring. Yeah, three dimensional. Okay. Iron blocks in the middle, along the sides. We're on this thing. Oh, those are just barrels? Okay. Still need all this? Was the right spot. I just wasn't sure if it's was right or orientation I'd like.
All the iron blocks are done, silver blocks need to be finished up. That's taken care of. Dining table. There. Take a face left. And it's third on the iron. see here. Pub sign. One over there. Collection. On the barrels. Top. And that's everything I can possibly build right now, I think.
That's what I get for doing a quick job thinking they wouldn't attack in time. I mean, I was almost ready to start rebuilding things. rebuild this part. Now I need to build a shower thing. Silver brick. Shower folding screen towel rail.
Them pigs are building the shower room, shower room for Babs, Tran. Ever since she was little, that girl's had a special place in all our arts. Whenever she was feeling down, whenever we was feeling down, she'd pick us up. Whenever we was about to do something stupid, she set us back on the right path. Now look at her. She's doing her best to make sure we're all fed, cheering us on. She's always putting others above herself. That girl means more to us than any amount of gold ever will. We'll protect her to our dying breath. You better remember that, Tran. You're a proper mate, but you're also our biggest rival, and none of us will give Babs up without a fight. By the way, it ain't just Babs who's going to use the shower room. Me and the boys need to wash it every once in a while too, you know. So I better not catch you peeking. Okay, let me expand this a bit. You done yet? Be that way or the other way? Combine this dragon meat with cactus cutlet and dragon meat with mushroom. We'll transition ahead. First up, the cactus results in superior stir fry, and the mushroom results in tastier turf and truff. Tran, you sure took your bleeding time. I thought I told you not to leave me alone in the dark. 
Anyway, Wamey lads are quiver and tells me there's some silver somewhere behind this wall. Have a quick bash about with that sledgehammer of yours and see what you find. I never. It's never bleeding tunnel. You done a stellar job knocking that all through. That's a bit of a tight fit for all the silver we'll be bringing back. I'll get the lads to open it up a bit. Oi, get in here, you pathetic blockers. There's work to be done. Oi, oi. <laughs> nice. I like that. Do that more. That's more like it. I never could stand tight places. All right, lads, let's get on in there. We should head on in too, Tran. If we try this, can be trusted. There's a bleeding shed load of silver in there. Let's get a rigor on track. We got a trio of silver teams to find. That so you're willing to fight? No. For sure. more lights in case I missed any I hug both sides I won't miss any lights And I'll get the mapping done. Who goes there? I can't burn anything in this munge of these tunnels. Seriously, in all this darkness, I can't see a thing. Say, you lost or something? We get nanty in visitors down here, you know. Hardly any at all. Well, you're here now, so maybe you can do me a big fat favor. What do you say? No. Ooh, you cheeky chicken. I don't think you were even listening to me. You don't even know what I'm about to screech, so how can you say no? Go on, do this favor for little old me. Fine. Then Tabulosa, what a bona, bona young of me you are. I haven't even told you what I want yet. Now then, my three little brothers have got lost in these mazy tunnels, the dizzy chickens. Could you charper them out? They just love the ogo joshi things. So chances are you'll find them near a sparkly scene. I hope that helps you in, in your search. They're only feelies, too young and tender to look after themselves. Please find all three. You're having a hard time varding which way you're going. Try lighting some of the torches that have gone out. Not only will you be able to see more clearly, it'll help mark where you've already been. Two, lost little lambies get gobbled up down here, darling. Can you find my feely brothers? My three little brothers have got lost somewhere in, in these tunnels. Be a good chicken and find them for me. They love shiny, juicy things ever so much. So much. I've been inkling they've tr they've, they're transfixed on a seam of silver or something. If you can find them for me, I'd be ever so, uh, ever so happy, my handsome little Omi. Now, if you can't burn it where you're going, try lighting a torch or two. They should light the way quite nicely. Not only that, a lit torch will be a useful little marker to show where you've already been. 
You don't want to get lost in these mazy, mungy tunnels. Help, help, help. Let's have a look for that jumped up jewel sacks bratty brothers. It might be the only way to find the silver we're after. Hey, and if there's a chance to get the bombs out, you can count me in. Eek, monsters, monsters! Look at that, Tran. The monsters are fighting each other. They're doing our job for us. Wait, what if that goodie bag is one of the little brothers we're supposed to find? As much as I'd like to watch the show, I think we need a way in here, Tran. Come on. I'll turn you to mush. Argon is a really fun guy. Hey. You helped me. You saved me. I was just staring at these the beautiful, beautiful shiny stuff when those nasty monsters attacked. My sister's looking for me, but I don't have a sister. Are you sure you don't mean my brother? Hang on, did he say shiny? Up there, Tran. It's only a bleeding seam of silver. I was too busy quaking in my boots to spot it. Boy, get in here, you worthless Wazox. You've got some silver to mine. I say things are going pretty well so far. Wouldn't you, Tran? You saved my life. Those mean monsters were about to eat me for breakfast. I owe you one. I'm not trying to speak to people, I'm trying to change my, you know. I just turn around. Not the best time.
What's this? Visitors? Humans, is it? If you don't mind us asking, who are you and what are you doing here? You say you're a builder, looking for silver, is it? We've heard of people like you, but not for a long, long time. What's an old bag like you doing all the way down here? And what's wrong with your voice? Oh, we're sorry. We should explain. We've been down here for so long. Spend it many years alone. We can't remember when we last used our voice. Don't you worry about us, dear. Maybe we tell you our story later. Maybe not. At the moment, we're more concerned about all the com that commotion up there. Hmm. We'd go and look ourselves if some of the mushrooms are missing their caps, and that seems to be the only way up. If you really are a builder, perhaps you could put the super massive mushroom caps back on the stocks and rebuild the path. Could call it stepping shrooms. There's some kind of commotion going on up there on the ledge. Much shouting, very exciting. Can you hear it too? Perhaps you could use those nice gloves of yours to build a stairway. Picks up the caps and puts them on those stocks. Should I be doing this golem voice? All you have to do is- oh, it's, my family's asleep so I probably shouldn't anyways. Pick up those super mushroom- super massive mushroom caps and pop them back where they're needed. <laughs> Just be sure to use the big ones. Small one's dangerous. It might slips and falls off. Safety first, dear. I didn't quite understand all that. I think I was too distracted by the voicing that they're that, 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 about the voice this thing was supposed to be doing. Am I supposed to build? Because she never gave me a recipe to build. Am I supposed to steal the others? I think I could probably do it without it, right? This is probably too cheating too much. Let me see exactly what she's saying. There's some kind of commotion going on up there on the ledge. A shouting. Very exciting. Did you hear it too? Perhaps you could use those nice gloves of yours to build a stairway. It picks up the caps and puts them on the stocks. I think I'm doing more fantasy item here. All you have to do is pick up those super master mushroom caps and pop them where back where they're needed. Be sure to use the big ones. Small ones, dangerous. Is... First off, let's see. I can pick this up then? Yeah. So far, it's not really necessary. For some reason, looking down won't allow me to do it, but looking straight ahead will allow me to pick up the cat. back up here, so I thought I'd map it while I can. Eek, who are you? You haven't come to steal my precious jewels, have you? Well, well, well. The voice was coming from a little goodie bag all along. Nothing for us to worry about. You were worried about me? I'm fine. I was just captivated by the shiny stuff, is all. Did you say shiny? Yeah. Quite blimey, get a load of all that silver. Get in here, you numb noggin ninnies. Picks at the ready.
That's what I like to see. Another seam of silver to add to the list. You came all the way from the surface, didn't you? Takes us back with it. We want to see the sky. We hope you don't mind if we follow you outside. Our name is Ordelia, by the way. It's a pleasure to meet you. Right then, shall we head up? We follow us at home, even if it says no. Is it far? You did come from the surface, didn't you? It knows the way out. We hope you don't mind if we come back with you, and we follow it anyway. I love silver. Silver, silver. Sparkly sparkles, shiny, shiny, shiny. something to wake up to. make a whole nother town with all this earth I have. Too bad the game limits me. Like a mimic or something? Too bad the game limits me on how far you can build in a town.
No repeats so far. But I'm looking for an angler fish or angel fish or whatever it was. Might not be here. Alright, there's my first repeat. Let's get going. Get me out of here! I'll go ahead and blow it up now. Oh. Be the sand and soil is gone. I'm saved. One minute I was staring up at that shiny stuff, and the next thing I knew, the ceiling caved in. I thought I was gone. Or... Oh, George, did someone say shiny? Oi, oi, if I'm not mistaken, that's silver. Get over here, you nitless witness. I found ourselves another scene. Well, and Tran, we're, well and Tran, we're making pro proper good progress with finding these seams of silver. Fantabulosa, you found all my three little my little brothers. The Philly chickens must have been so scared on their own. I can't thank you enough. I'm sorry about my brothers. They lose all self-control when they Varda see something sushi. You know, when they see something shiny. I have a much more bona fide bona orb for treasure than they do. My eyes are valuable as absolutely fantabulosa. Ah, uh, if only I had an echo the echo flute, then I could find every last treasure in these tunnels. Er, yeah, whatever you say. Now then, Tran. We found three seams of silver like Magog asked. Let's head back to base and give him the good news. Thanks for helping me out. If I hadn't been held up in that hole forever, I'd have been held up in that hole forever if it weren't for you. I can't thank you enough for rescuing my Feely brothers. You might just be the kindest chicken I've ever met. Alright, it's a little crammed in here, so... Only one I wanted to kill disappeared.
seriously. map of these tunnels later, of course. That's probably good enough. I'll map out the rest on my own time. <laughs> 